Hi everyone, welcome to an SMB Solutions Cloud Services tutorial video. Today I'm going to show you the new SMB Solutions ticketing portal. Now just a little bit of background information. Over the course of 2020, SMB Solutions has been changing over to a new system called Datto and Autotask. Now one of the benefits of changing over to the system is a new support portal interface. So what you can see in front of you here is our current support portal. You can see the address at the top here is support smbscs.com.au. So on the 2nd of June 2020, it's a date that we're going to be going live with our new ticketing portal. So the domain isn't going to change, but what it's going to do is it's going to take you from this page here instead to this page here. <clears throat> now to set up your actual ticketing portal, what you need to do is you will actually receive an email. The email will ask you to set up your password and it will already provide your username. Your username will be the user code that has been assigned to you to log into your SMB Solutions cloud platform. So once you've set up your password, what you do is you just go ahead and when you come back to this uh, screen here and click login. Great. So I'm going to go through everything on this page here. First, we've got our home tab at the top, which is what we're seated on here. As you can see, I've got zero open tickets. Um, here we have our ticket tab where you can either create a new ticket, view your current tickets, and also view your recently completed tickets. This tab here called projects is mostly for our MSP customers and it's currently not in use. Just for a, pro just for a bit of information about this projects tab, it's just going to make it easier because our MSP services are majority remote. So instead of having to sit on a phone call or instead of having to go back and forth in emails, what we can do is we can actually create a project. So say, for example, you're installing a new piece of technology. Instead of having to go back and forth, what we can do instead is put all the tasks you need to complete to get it set up properly. So that means that everyone can see what's going on. And by everyone, I mean SMB Solutions, our customers and our partners. Everyone can, everyone can see where we are in the project and make sure that everything's getting done properly and everything's set up ready for you. Okay, so as I said, though, we're not using that tab right now. If we do start using it, we'll be in touch to let you know. This tab here is our knowledge base. Now, our knowledge base matches our FAQ page on our website. So I'm just going to go ahead and click into our knowledge base here. Great, so that's loaded here now. Okay, so you've got a couple of different ways you can actually search for the answer that you're looking for. You can either just scroll through here, have a look through all the pages, or you've got a different option here at the top. You can choose your category. So it's split into four categories, hosting, security, service, and support. Each of those categories is split into customers and resellers. Now, if you're still not sure what category you want, you can use this little search bar over here. So make sure it's still clicked on match any word. We'll search something like hours because I want to know the opening hours. There we go. What are your working hours and holidays? And I've found the answer that I'm looking for. So if I click on that here, it brings up a new pop-up. There's our answer and you can either print the answer or you can close it. So I'm just going to close this one here. Moving along the top of the screen, we've got a couple of options here. We can either edit the profile, change the password or log out. Here we can start a new ticket up the top. And this little question mark here is like a little help bar. So if you need assistance in actually using the portal, you click on this little question mark on the page that you're on and it'll help you to navigate. Here we are. So you can have a look through here in manage your client portal and you can actually search here as well. Okay, now these aren't the SMB Solutions FAQs. This isn't our knowledge base. This is searching how to help use the data order task. Okay, the client portal. So I'm just going to exit out that little help box. Okay, so the main point of this ticket tutorial is to actually show you how to create a ticket. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go over to my ticket tab and click new ticket. Like I mentioned before, though, you do have the option there on the right hand side to just click new ticket. It'll bring up this new pop up box. We can select our request type and we've got a couple of different ones. We've got a data backup slash duplication request, a general request, an MSP request, which is our managed services, a password request, a performance slash connectivity request, and a user account and cloud access request. If you're not sure what topic your support request falls under, just go ahead and put it under general request. And I'm going to click continue. 
Great, so I'm gonna make this screen a little bit bigger just so it's easier for us to see. So here, you will just go through this. You need to put in a title, as you can see from the red asterisks here. You need to have a contact, which has the details just listed underneath here for you, and you have to put in a description. What you have down the bottom here is your configuration item. Now this again is for our MSP customers. If you have a piece of technology and it's got a serial number, a reference number, or a reference name, you put those details in here, okay? If it's not for an MSP request though, you don't need to worry about this part. Now, background questions are different for every single type of request. For a general request, it just asks, when do you need a response for this request? And what is the best way to contact you with an update? Okay, so let's go ahead and fill this out. Say I want to create a new user. It's me that's wanting to create it. I'm just going to write in the description, hi support. I need to create a new user. Now, the more details you put in this description, the better. Say, for example, if you want to create a new user, put in their name, their phone number, their email, and any other details that you think might be important to us. Say, for example, whether you're on SQL, HANA, and what type of license you want them to have. Now, we want to answer these background questions. So, say, for example, when do you need a response for this request? They're starting on Monday. So, I'm going to go ahead and put that in. We need this done by Monday. And what is the best way to contact you with an update? Some people prefer email, some people prefer phone. I prefer email, so let's just go ahead and type that one in. Now you've got two options. You can either save your ticket or you can save and attach a file. So if you've got a screenshot that you think will actually help us resolve your support request, you can attach that screenshot using this option here. But because I haven't actually got any details or any screenshots, I'm just gonna go ahead and click save ticket. Great, so you can see here we've got our service request. We've actually got a reference number here, which is very important for you to quote to us every time you need assistance. We've got who the company is, who the contact is, the description that I put in, as well as those answers to the background questions that I put in. Now, best thing about this as well is you can add a quick note. Say, for example, if your user actually isn't starting for another two weeks, you can change that. You can add this little quick note and now we know that it's not going to be quite as urgent as any other request that you have. So, uh, new user, not starting for another two weeks. So, I'm going to click submit and now that little note is actually added to the general request here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to close out of this general request and just so you can see where it pops up in, if we go to my tickets, Great, there's our little ticket there. We've got our ticket number, the ticket title, and what date it was created. So if I go back to my home tab as well, we can see here that we've got a couple of new tickets. Okay, we've got one open ticket, one where I'm the contact, and it was created by me. So it's populated all of these different areas here, and it's also populated this little graph down the bottom as well. Now, once this ticket has been completed, it'll pop up here in your recently completed tickets. As you can see, there's no data to, dis to display right now because my ticket's still sitting there as open, okay? So that's just a general overview of our new ticketing system. Just a quick reminder that it isn't going live until the 2nd of June, 2020. So if you type in the support.smbscs.com.au domain, it'll still take you to the old ticketing portal. Now, don't forget when we send out your emails, sometimes they can go to junk mail as well. So just keep an eye out around the, the 1st of June, you should be receiving an email to activate your new client portal login, okay? Now, if you have any issues with your email, if you have any more questions about this actual ticketing portal, or even just about the changeover to data and auto task, please feel free to reach out. We have our support email available. and We also have our phone number on the screen. We have our website available, if you need to look up any other FAQs or look for any other information. And we also have our YouTube and Wistia channel with more tutorials and tips and tricks. I hope this video has been helpful today. Like I said, reach out if you need any more assistance and enjoy the rest of your day.